Today we'll be looking at Fraunhofer diffraction patterns through rectangular and circular apertures. Here we have a telescope that collimates a relatively large diameter laser beam. Then we can send the laser beam down a long hallway and back to this screen. Then we can place a rectangular aperture in our laser beam. Now we see the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern on the screen. We can measure the distance between the peaks in the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern. Instead of sitting down the hallway, we can also divert the beam through this lens and to that CCD camera. We've placed the camera at the focal plane of the lens so that we can see the exact same pattern on the computer screen. Instead of using a rectangular aperture, we can also use a circular aperture. This is the Fraunhofer diffraction pattern for a circular aperture.